Today we will talk about the liquify tool in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to use the liquify tool in Photoshop. So let's jump straight in Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, this is the first image for today and on this image I will show you how to use the liquify tool. First thing what I like to do is to duplicate the layer. You can press Ctrl Command J or you can drag a layer to a new layer icon and you will have the copy of that layer just to have a backup version of it. So let's jump straight in the liquify tool. Let's go to the filter and go to the liquify here. And now you will have the liquify tool dialog box. Let me just adjust this to screen recording dimensions like so and that's great right you have this is this is a new version of photoshop it's photoshop cc 2017 and you have a little bit different uh, setup here than in earlier version of photoshop for example uh, photoshop cs6 etc so uh, on the left side you have the tool palette and if you don't see this amount of tools if you're using an early version of Photoshop, somewhere here uh, you have you have a checkbox and you need to check uh, the advanced part of the liquify tool options. You will you will uh, have the advanced checkbox here. Just check it and you will have all these tools except the face tool. The face tool it's reserved only for the newer version of Photoshop. I think it's from Photoshop CC 2015 and uh, above and okay let's start with the first tool first tool here is the forward warp tool and it's the most used tool in liquify dialog box here and what this tool does i will show you in a second first you will you have the size of a brush of that tool okay brush size you have the pressure and you have a density i will show you what all does all three things means okay the brush size it's obvious the size of the brush you want to use to achieve the effect and the effect it's like this just press and pull some part of the face or anything you you are using here uh, any photo you're using in liquify dialog box and you will have something like so that's the size all right the pressure if you lower the pressure you will let's undo this you if you want to pull see hmm, almost nothing happens it's really really small subtle change if you put the pressure maybe to 20 or 90, you will have a little bit more change. If you put it all the way to 100%, let's undo this, you will have really, really big pressure. And that's how you can control the amount of effect and precision of the thing you want to do here in the liquify. All right. And the density, it's like this. If you pull this out, it seems like it's the center of the brush pinch that part of the cheek and pull it out. If you lower the density all the way to the zero, check it, it will affect only small part of that brush, only the center part. If you pull density all the way up, it will affect a bigger portion of the brush and it will be something like so. All right, and with that you can control the amount of uh, the brush that will affect the skin or anything you want to do here all right that's the first tool and with that tool you can move the nose for example make her smile maybe if you want to pull the eyes down i don't know why will you do that but you can do anything you can make her slimmer etc etc Let, let's reset that and the next tool it's reconstruct tool it's basically undo brush for example you can do some crazy stuff here okay something like so and then you can use reconstruct brush here or you have the reconstruct option here in newer version just click on reconstruct and you choose the amount of reconstruction here it's like a morphing tool Woohoo! all right let's cancel this or you can click restore all and you will restore all if you use the reconstruct brush you just paint and you will reconstruct everything to default value like like so all right let's restore all in case i miss something like i did here all right the third brush it's the smooth smooth tool it's for smoothing some crispy edges but i don't use it the fourth tool it's twill 
clockwise tool, okay? And I, I don't think that I ever use this tool. It's working like this. It will twirl in the clockwise direction anything that is in the brush diameter here. I don't know, maybe you will use it for some project, but I don't think that I ever use it. Let's restore. Then the next two tools, it's really nice and handy tool. It's pucker tool. It's for making something smaller like this. You can make, make eyes smaller or lips smaller or nose, anything. And the second tool is blood tool. It's opposite. It will make something bigger. For example, you can make effect of magnifying glass like this and put the magnifying glass in front of her eye and it will be like she's looking through the magnifying glass. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with that or you can make the muscles or arms of some person bigger with, with that, etc, etc. You can do crazy stuff. Let's restore this all. The second tool is push to the left. It's working like this. If you move your brush up, it will push everything to the left. If you move your brush down, it will push everything to the right, right? It's same up to the left, down to the right. Never use it. Okay. But just to know that there is that kind of tool, this freeze mask tool, it's really, really handy tool here. And I use it really often. Let's let me show you how it works. For example, if I want to move this part of the cheek a little bit in, and I use a little bit smaller brush just to affect the cheek, not the neck or the ear, I will move this in and it's pretty nice. But if you want to achieve a little bit better result, you need to use a brush a little bit bigger than the portion, than the size of, in this case, face you want to move. Okay. And if you move something like so, it's not so nice, but if we use, oops, let's restore it. If you use a bigger brush like so, and then move it, it's really, really nice, nice transition, nice effect. But then you move the ear and part of the neck too. And we don't want that. That's when the freeze mask tool comes really handy. So you want to freeze part of the head that you don't want to, to move. For example, the ear, this part of the neck here, the hood here, and that's enough. Now you can use the forward work tool, make a bigger brush. And if you move this, you can see it won't affect the ear or neither the neck. So now we can use the, the second tool, the eraser here, and we can remove the mask or we can go here to the mask option and we can check none and we will erase everything that we masked. That's really, really nice effect. And that's the basic you have. You have the hand tool or zoom tool is the same like in Photoshop. If you zoom something, for example, like so, then you can use a hand tool and move that to see all portion of it. All right. And the last tool it's for the newer version of Photoshop. It's the face tool. It's really nice tool. Photoshop actual liquify tool automatically recognize the portion of the face, the eyes, lips, nose, chin, overall face. If you have uh, two, three, four or five person, it will recognize all the face and all the portion of the face. You here on the left side of the right side, you have the face aware liquify option and you have face one because here it's only one face. If we had two or three face, you will have uh, option face one, two or three to choose which face you will affect with that. And this is how it works. It's really easy and straightforward. You have the eyes left and right. And if you move the eyes, it will make the eyes bigger. It says eye size. Of course, it will make the eyes bigger left and right eye. If we reset this to zero, we can click on this chain icon and we will simultaneously make both eyes bigger, left and right, bigger or smaller. It's the same with the eye, eyes height. You will have like this or width, you will have wider eye or you can tilt the eye, etc. You have the same options here on, on the image. You can make eye like this, bigger, smaller, because we link that we, we make uh, both eyes simultaneously bigger or smaller. You can tilt the eye in one or other direction, etc. 
you can make the nose bigger or smaller, wider or narrower, the lips too, you can make her smile or be sad, it's a little fake here. You can make the lower lip bigger or smaller, it's the same with the upper lip too, bigger or smaller, you can make lips wider, etc. The chin, you have all the options here too, you can uh, use for example, forehead, you can make bigger or smaller. Here's forehead option. See? Then you can use a chin height. Then you can use a jawline, make her fatter maybe. Face width, make her even fatter, etc. And with that, you can reset everything back to normal. With that, you can change completely the face structure of the person. For example, let's make eyes smaller. Let's go to the nose and make it longer a little bit and narrower. Let's use the, maybe a little bit of the smile and make lips smaller, like so. Then let's use the forehead, maybe like so. Then chin size, like, hmm, like so maybe. And we have completely different person. And we, when we're finished with our effect, we can just press OK. And here it is, before and after before and after completely different person because we changed the facial structure of this person okay that's one way how you can use the liquify tool you can make a person if it's maybe a fat person you can make her slimmer or opposite you can make slim person bigger to add some weight on it you can uh, build muscles with the liquify tool etc etc you can do a lot of crazy stuff your creativity it's it's only limit but don't overdo it. The best thing to use the liquify tool is when you're done with the effect, you can't really tell what is the changes. That's really, really nice and subtle, subtle result. All right, that's one way. Another way how you can use the liquify tool to do some other crazy creative stuff, it's maybe to make some font, some letters melting. So let's do that. All right, let's create a new document, control command N, and I will just make it smaller like so and then I will press T on the keyboard for a text tool and just type one letter. In this case I will type letter S, press OK, press Control Command T and I will make this letter bigger like so. Of course you can type the whole words in here and to have that effect on whole words but just to save time for this tutorial I will just do it on one letter. So that's the first step. The second step is to choose any kind of image that will be the background for this letter and I will choose maybe maybe this image, okay? Copy it and just paste it here on this document, okay? And now I will go to the letter layer, press Control Command key and just click here on the layer and load this selection of the letter S. And while the flower layer, the image layer is active, I will just create a layer mask. Now I have masked the, the flower layer in the shape of the letter. So I can now hide this uh, layer with the letter or I can delete it because we don't need it anymore. All right, now let's unlink this chain between the mask and the layer so we can freely move the, the image. For example, we don't want this part of the image. Maybe we, don't, we want this part of the image and we can move to anything we want, all right? But I don't know, let's use the yellow flower, why not? Okay, and now we can go to the Liquify tool. Before we go to Liquify tool, I like to convert this to a smart, smart object. You will see in a moment why, because I will have a little bit more control. Okay, let's turn it to a smart object and now we can go to the filter, blur, to blur this a little bit. Okay, not too much, maybe like so. And you can always hide this blur effect or reveal if you don't like it or like it, all right? And now we can go to the filter and liquify tool. That's really nice. Let's make our brush smaller. Use the first brush for warp tool and just with the pressure all the way to 100%, just make this like it's melting so okay that's really really nice
we need to create that melting effect. Okay, we can add maybe some melting effect here or maybe here. Let's zoom it a little bit and create something like so. Then we can add maybe one here. Like a drop here and here maybe. Why not? Something like so. Maybe add one here and maybe like this part. It's melting a lot. Okay, something like so. Right and press. Okay, we have melt effect here. If we turn off the blur layer, you will have maybe a little bit better effect. Maybe you don't want to blur it, but here is that you have the option to change the blur. Maybe you don't want that amount of blur. Maybe you want a little bit sm smaller or maybe more. I don't know, but you have the option and that's why the smart object it's really great you have smart smart filter you can uncheck the liquify tool this is before this is after then you can uncheck the gaussian blur layer etc etc okay you can go back to the liquify here double tap on that and you can change maybe i didn't make something really nice like i messed with this and you can change maybe you can add this a little bit better this drop like so etc etc you can add a lot of effects here press ok when you're ready and now you have nice melted letter here of course you can add the whole words to it right and let me show you another thing what you can do with the liquify tool uh, as we already mentioned melting i will show you on this ice cream photo and we will finish for today for example you can use the liquify tool not just to make people bigger or smaller or to change some fa facial expression but you can add some effect like you you want to emphasize this melting ice cream effect so let's copy uh, this background we need a copy of that Control command j and just go to the filter and liquify tool and it's the same what we did with the letter just go and make those drops a little bit bigger Okay, and don't worry about the changing of, of background. See, we are now changing the background. We can use a mask tool, but it won't help a lot. I will show you another trick how you can get away with this background in a second, just to finish this, maybe to make this drop a little bit bigger, like so. And to emphasize this melting effect, maybe this here a little bit bigger like so it's really nice maybe to add a new one here why not like so and don't worry about the changing of the background here right and if you're satisfied with that press ok and that's the effect but we now need to fix this change in in the background that we don't want right that's why we have a copy of the same layer just create a layer mask on it and use a brush black brush maybe around 75 or so percent and just mask this to show the original layer here you need to have a little bit patient here but this is really really nice effect okay let's fix this part here like so and it's much easier of course if you have a pen tablet to do this than with the mouse but you can do of course the same thing with the mouse just you need to be a little bit more patient okay i messed this up a little bit right like so and here i want to fix just this part of the background okay let me see and that's really really nice and let me show you before and after before and after see how great things you can achieve with this liquefied tool you can melt the ice cream even more all right guys that's it for today i hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it 
you can create a lot of fun and crazy stuff in Photoshop just using a liquify tool. It's really powerful tool in Photoshop. Have fun, experiment, be creative. Don't use this liquify tool just to make people slimmer. Try to use it in some other creative situations, for example, to melt an ice cream, etc. Your creativity is the limit. Take time to master this tool and when you master it, you will have a lot of fun using it. If you have any questions at all regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer it. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.